going to jump past something. We're going to finish with one last little exercise, an impromptu exercise. These have all been kind of impromptu. I gave you a chance to plan the last one, but with my students, sometimes just to get them to continue to hold the floor for a certain amount of time, I give them without planning beforehand. And that's what impromptu means. Something to talk about. And then they have to go ahead and for one minute, for 60 seconds, and I often will very strictly time them, uh, describe the thing for uh, their classmates. And number two here, you shouldn't use the name of the thing in your description. And I want to mention too, this is not a guessing game. So whoever starts here, uh, when you, let's suppose that you have a very simple thing, such as a television, and you say, uh, you pick up the remote, turn it on, and you watch your favorite programs. I don't want someone to say, oh, I know television. It's not about that. It's about you trying to find new ways you can describe this thing for just 30 seconds, okay? And I'm going to pick ordinary objects. I may pick something, uh, someone, a famous person, or a fam something that would be familiar to people. So your job here is to go on for a full minute and keep trying to look for new ways to explore something. I can think in the past of students who've done this exercise and they really came up with some of the best details within the first 10 seconds. Uh, for example, umbrella. And I forget what exactly the student may have said. Uh, when it's rain, when it's rainy or when it looks like it might be rainy, you carry this with you and you open it. And the person was physically showing everything and all the students in the class were, ah, yes. And the student looked at me. Okay, I'm like, hmm, you have 45 more seconds. So, and it was interesting how she began to think of a personal experience that she had with one of these that wouldn't open. And it got to be, um, yeah, a very nice altogether description. So what I need to do now is, uh, I don't really need to have this on, on screen, uh, but uh, yeah, I will give you a thing to talk about for one minute. We'll see if we can get at least a few of you and maybe everyone if possible. So who wants to go first? In the chat area, I will send you the item that you're going to talk about for 60 seconds. And by impromptu, that means once I give it to you, you got to hit the floor running, okay? So who wants to take the first one here? Any volunteer? Are you all been doing great so far? Outstanding today. So this will be just icing on the cake of a super job. I keep flipping back and forth to see who's here. Hmm. And I'll do this, see if this will prompt someone. I'm going to I'm going to send this one out to someone. And if you get it, it'll be your turn. So to the person who just received the item. Acknowledge it. David, mm -hmm. yes. So David, are you ready? Still thinking. No, you're not supposed to think. You're supposed to go right at it. So just start saying whatever you know about this thing. Ready? Just go for it. Okay, you, uh, so start. Yes. Uh, so you can take a package and then put it into the microwave. There are small amounts of water inside. There are lots of flavors. It makes the sound pop, pop, pop. You can you can pop it a lot of places. You can buy it from uh from a movie theater. You, you can get it basically from a store, any store. Some sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. 
Don't tell me who are more though. Ten seconds. Ten more seconds. They they are pretty delicious. They come in packets and bags, and they are quite like some of them are small, some of them are big. Excellent. That's one minute. Good job. I can't clap on this or do the finger snapping. All right. Who who knows what he's talking about? Esther, your hand is up. What is it? I think it is popcorn. Amy, you think it's something. What do you think it is? Popcorn. Anyone else want to guess? This isn't a guessing game. David, what was it? It was cat food, right? It was cat food? Yeah, it was popcorn. It was popcorn. Very good. Nice job. Very nice job. Excellent. And I like the fact that as you got into it, notice in this, the last 30 seconds, you were coming up with some really nice things. You talked about the, uh, you can buy it at the store. The movie theater was a great thing. I know earlier you said pop, pop, pop. That's kind of a taboo. This is not a game though. We were playing in that way, but very nice. I think we might have time for, uh, for maybe one or two more. Who wants to try this? We've got a nice item. And back and forth, back and forth. Do we have any hands? I'm going to throw one at somebody. Uh, let's go with this name and let's try this one. Um, okay. The person who just got this one, have a look. Is this person ready to go? Yeah. Amy, okay, um, don't think about it, just go. You use it for sailing to cross oceans, rivers, or lakes. Um, it's usually made out of wood. Some are big, some are small. Um, Good, very nice. Um, you can use oars to paddle it. And sometimes you have sails. And sometimes there's toys. Um, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Try to come up with one more good thing about it. One nice detail description. It's usually brown color. Very nice. Nice job, Amy. All right. So what does Amy got here? Yes, Esther, what is it? I think it's a boat. I think it's a boat. Any other guesses? Very close. It's a paper clip. I think it's a boat. We have two for boat. It was paper clip, right, Amy? No, it's a boat. It was a boat. Yes. Okay, great. Now I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking this here. Uh, what we did today was a number of the warm up exercises that I would normally do over several classes because during the stronger content, I usually like to go into and give people a chance to do something more substantive. Uh, a fun exercise that I like to do is to give you a picture or an image. And it could be of, a, of an important person from history. It could be uh, an event from history. For example, a picture of Washington crossing the Delaware River with, in, in his boat. And if you don't know what it is, this is what I tell people to do. Make up a story. If you see a face of a person, this old person with a beard from the uh, from bl a black and white photograph, you're like, I have no idea. Don't look it up, make it up because it's a lot more interesting and fun if you can just get in the habit of uh, providing descriptive details. And sometimes you can play detective work. You'll see the person and say, based on the kind of collar on his suit, I think this person might be a doctor. Don't say that, but just tell the story. This man is named Dr. Dr. Fizzywiggle, and he was the first person to use a stethoscope on a dog. There was a poor little dog named, um, you know, Bootsy and go on and on. 